your faithful voice is calling out to me my restless heart you pierce it as you speak and I don't know what else I can do but answer yes to you the root of our addiction is the reason that we need to be saved there was a separation from God and we we're disfigured from what he's uh, created us in this image of Christ we're disfigured from that and now we need rescue from that man five years ago if you'd have asked me where I would be right now I would have never said this beautiful thing with the addiction that I was built with I was designed with is God has used that for his glory and for his good he knew that I would be hard-headed enough to press into him that when he offered me an opportunity to be a pastor a minister a leader that I would take it and I would dive head first into it I get to hold this sin up over my head not in shame anymore not in fear that it's going to hurt me, but in trust that he will help me to set other captives free. Wesley is uniquely gifted for the calling that God has put on his life. He attracts people who need hope. He speaks in a real way that is born out of experience that not every pastor has. We're getting ready for Saturday night church down there in Lancaster. It's not gonna be addiction based, so we're just gonna try to grow deeper in the grace of God, deeper in the knowledge of God, and deeper in the Word of God. I think it's logical that the next step for Wesley is to take a gospel message that is for an addiction ministry, but it can't stay in an addiction ministry. The gospel's too good, it's for every ministry. Twelve years ago when I met Kristen, neither one of us would have ever saw this, but God has given me someone who has been faithful, not just to me, but to him. As he pulled me out of my addiction, she grabbed a hold of his nail-scarred hands and just followed him as close as she could. And to see the way that she loves to worship and sing and mentor other people has been safety net for me. Because I wasn't sure where he was pulling me, but I did know that I would have somebody that would go with me the whole way. Our testimony, we get to do that together. It's not just about him. The journey that, you know, he went on with addiction also included me. It made me depend fully on God. And I think that's where we get the opportunity to share and be relatable to other people. To have this opportunity for me and her to minister together on Saturday nights, uh, it's going to be great. Now she can fully stand beside me in the glory of God. I will lay me down Jesus help me lay me down Because there's only life in you